In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can literally use any font in Silhouette in your vinyl cutting machine. So opening up the Silhouette program, you're going to type whatever words you want to use, whatever you want to cut out in vinyl. So we'll just do hello. Now, when you highlight it, you can go here and change. This is any font that's on your computer. Now you want to be careful, and I'll show you. Let's make this a little bigger so you can see. Do you see how these letters overlap each other? You don't want to cut it out like that. That will not work. So right click, and when your menu pops up, you're going to choose to weld the letters. You see how it, it doesn't overlap anymore. Now, once you weld, you can't change what the letters are. So you want to make sure you weld it once you know what you want it to say. Otherwise, you just delete it and start over. Um, but the welding, that's going to make it a lot easier to cut out and pull out with your vinyl to put on projects. Let me show you another example here. Now we've got we've got the second hello. Let's actually let's make this one a little bit bigger here too, so you can see what I'm doing. So to change your font, you're just going to click and highlight the letters, and then come over here. And here's the cool thing: you can do any font on your computer. That means any font you download to your computer, you can use in Silhouette. So let me show you how to find some. If you go to just Google, you can Google free font download, and seriously, there is gazillions out there. Uh, Dev font and 101 fonts, those are some of the popular ones, and you can go to any of those websites, and if you want to see what they have, or if you have a specific style of mind, let's say you want a handwritten one, type in hand, do a search, and it'll show you here. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see all the different examples there. And all you have to do is click the download button on the right hand side of any of those and it'll download that font, which I'll show you that process and how to install them on your computer. Pinterest is my favorite stuff for font ideas. So if you have a font board like I do here with lots of ideas, it's fun when you're doing a project to look at those and find what font you want. And so let's say you're we're looking at this font and I really like this the silly monster, that second hello one there. So if I want to download that, just figure out what the name is there. And in this place, it tells us. Usually they're written in the name of the font, but this one tells us. So let's go back and we're going to do our search for smiley, smiley monster. And okay, it's not available through this site, but that's okay. All we have to do is do a Google search. So we just type in smiley monster font, and you can type free or free download, whatever that way. And there you, we go, there's lots of options. So you just go to the website and you see right there, it's got download now. So sometimes you might have to click down, they have ads that load or whatever. Just click the download now. Don't click one of the spam buttons. Make sure you click on the right one. Once it downloads, just click the box of the download. Usually there'll be multiple ones, but this one just has one. So you're gonna double click and just click install. It is that easy, and it's super fast. You probably won't even see the bar go. Uh, once it's installed, just go ahead and close it out, and you're done. You now have that font on your computer. Let me show you a little bit more complicated one. So this one, I really liked this classically cursive font here. So I wanted to download that font. So we're going to come, we're going to search classically cursive font and font free. And let's see what we can find out. So the problem I had when I searched this is there's no there's no specific, it's not specifically saying this font. So when I go to the website, there's no font named that. Then I realized classically was spelled wrong in their sample. So I tried spelling it the way they did without an A and I tried misspelling it and I could not find it anywhere. And that'll happen sometimes. So then all you do is go to the original pin, click on the pin, and it'll take you right to the website related to that pin. What they did in this case was she classically cursive was not the name of the font. She just did that because it looked good. So most places, like I said, they'll do the name of the font is what the font sample is in. This one wasn't. So this one is listed right there. It's got both of them there. So this first one is the classically cursive font that I wanted to download. So just highlight, copy it, paste it in our search, and there we go. We can go ahead and download it just like we did the other one. Just go ahead and download. Now, this one has multiples, so you're going to have to go through 
download each single one, install each of them. Most fonts will have at least three or four. So download all of them. Now, when you go back to your silhouette, if your silhouette's already open, it's not gonna show in the fonts yet. You're gonna have to close the silhouette program and then reopen it in order for your new fonts that you've downloaded to show available. So now that I've closed my, closed my silhouette down and we're gonna close out this window too, we don't need that, we're gonna just reboot silhouette. So let's get it up and we'll get it all rebooted. And then when we go into silhouette, which sometimes <laughs> takes a minute to load, when we go into the silhouette, now it'll show that font available. So we've got our, I saved this program by the way, or just the hello samples. I saved them before I closed it. So now, as you can see, there it is listed right there. And it'll give you the options when I installed all the fonts, I installed like the bold and italic versions of it. So those will all be available as well. Let me make it a little bit bigger. And you can see this has a few of those welding options, so I'm gonna weld it together. Now, one thing to remember when you weld, it will weld anything that's touching. So see how the H is separate from the E-L-L-O? -L -L -O? That means they are now two separate pictures. So if I click on that one and I click on that one, they are two separate. So we wanna group them together. Right click and click group. And what that does is that means you can move the whole word together because the H and the E were not synced. See, if I ungrouped them, if I can move to that, it would just move the E-L-L-O or just the H. But by grouping them, so you just right click, click on group, and by grouping them, that whole word is together. So if I move it, it all moves together. This top one didn't have that problem because when I welded them, they were all already touching and welding. So here's a few tips to keep in mind when you're doing your fonts for your silhouette. So you don't want anything sketchy, meaning you don't want the little like flyaways and stuff. Those will be a pain in the batootie <laughs> to pull out with your silhouette machine. So you don't want anything sketchy or textured. See how that textured font has all sorts of fun stuff inside? which is great if you're printing, not so great when you're doing vinyl. It will be hours of torture. The second example, not too fancy. So do you see how the, some of these letters, those fancy, they're, they're so pretty, but they overlap, that A and N and Y on, in the word fancy, they overlap. And that stuff, I mean, you technically, yes, you could weld them, but too fancy is gonna be a little difficult in a vinyl machine. In the third example here, the not too detailed, look at every single, that, that space inside the N, for example, there's two black spaces inside the letter N that you're gonna be picking that out, the vinyl out. So this is gonna be a little time consuming. Now, if this is the style you really want and it's worth your time, then great. But keep that in mind, you don't want a font that's too detailed. I hope you learned some great font tips and you're excited as, as much as I love using the fonts in my silhouette. Good luck and be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.